So we go ahead and we hit up the other side. So now that we've got this first bend, everything else is pretty simple. It's all based on that first bend. Once it'll start flexing, what you want to do is you want to flex it back so that when you sight down the bow, if you can see, you want them to be parallel to each other. do that real quick and I'll show you what that looks like but as you can see one limb comes up comes down and then it goes to the other limb Alright, so here we go. As you can see, this limb comes straight down, comes across the handle, and it goes in the same direction. You want this to be a straight line coming through. That'll allow you to, once we put the next couple curves in, we'll be able to center these recurves. Now if you didn't put recurves into this bow, this isn't as important. Once you've got this in the handle, you can just sort of put a, a single curve in here and it'll line the tips up. But because we've got the recurves, they need to track along their whole, all this contact point needs to track perfectly straight in a line. So that's why we need to do so many curves. So if you don't want to do a recurve and you just want to do a longbow style, then we just need to do the next step and that will line up your tip. Uh, you line up your knocks through the handles. So, on to the next pen. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to mark halfway between your handle mark and your recurve mark here. This is going to be where the next bend will take place. So, it's really simple. Just heat this up. So now what you want to do is where this bend went this way, you want this bend to go the other way. So what this is going to do is this, go, this is going to go ahead and bring the point a little past aligned. So I'll do that real quick and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so you can see here, we've got this bend and then this bend. And what we're doing is, if you can kind of see, if you can draw an imaginary line from here to the tip of the bow, what we've just done, it's a little easier to see if I bring the whole bow here, this tip now it runs across here and then it meets up a little bit past this and what's going to happen is the next bend is going to bring this directly into alignment with the rest of the bow. So once we've got this, you just want to go ahead and heat this other side up in the same spot. Okay. 
So you want to take this, just like the other side, you want to flex it where this one's going this way, this one goes this way. And while you're doing this, you want to go ahead and do the same thing you did with the other one. Or now what you're trying to do is you want these two, if you can see, this one right here, this coming down right here, you want this to be parallel to this. So I have to flex it a bit. But you don't need it to be perfectly parallel. You want it to be a little bit off. If you can see, so this is about right, right here. So you want them to come in just a little bit. So they come in just a little bit. That way, the next bend will line these up. What we've done is we've taken this curvy bow and essentially made a straight line from about here to here across the bow. So now that we've got that, if you can see it, we're going to do the last curves here and here. So let's see that. All right, the last curves. So you want to go right under the recurve mark. You don't want to disturb your recurve itself. You just want to go right below it. You want to heat that up. I'm going to get this flexing. Once it does start to flex, you want to line up down the bow. And you basically want, if you're sighting straight down the bow, you want the bottom of the recurve here, the base of the recurve, to go in a straight line from here to the center of the bow. So, flex it just a little bit more. So you can see it's straight here, and then it lines up to the center of the bow. Just want to sight down, make sure that everything is still up and down. You haven't put too much twist in it. Okay. Alright, so now that this curves done, I'm going to do this last one. And this last one is going to line everything up. So you do the same thing, you keep right below the recurve. So get that flexing. So then you want to sight down and you want to get it so that this recurve now goes through the handle and then lines up to this other recurve on the other side. It's a little easier to see it from the end. You want the recurves to line up and line up through the center of the handle.
All right, so now if you look, you can see that this tip lines up through the handle to the other tip here. So it lines up through the center of the handle to the other tip. And that's what you want. So here it is. So now we're, we're going to go string this up again with the same string, and we're going to test it out and see if everything's lined up.